Mike Bloomberg is making his pitch to African Americans in Houston, Texas tonight. And this comes after years old videos resurfacing showing Bloomberg saying, well, unwoke things about stop and frisk and redlining. Bloomberg repudiated, I can't even say it, repudiated these past remarks. But what people at his campaign event tonight, what did they think? Well, we sent conservative author and filmmaker Dinesh D'Souza to find out, and he joins us now. Dinesh, um, here is a conversation you had with two uh, ladies. Let's watch. You've heard about Bloomberg um, and the stop and frisk program. Has that been something that bothers you about Mike, or do you think, are you okay with Mike's position on stop and frisk? Maybe with good intentions, but you can't um, you know, implicate policies that are going to ostracize certain populations in your city. So I'm a mother of a young black boy. I have an eight-year-old son, and ultimately I don't want him to be judged just by what he has on or the color of his skin. So stop and frisk, do I agree with it? Absolutely not. So Dinesh, those ladies were not happy about stop and frisk, but you know, he, he apologized for it. He went to a church and he did a big mea culpa, and was that the common response tonight? Yeah, I think this was a crowd of uh, Democratic activists. Um, there was a kind of skeptical openness to Bloomberg, not real enthusiasm, I don't think, uh, but a willingness to hear him out. Uh, I think the issue that they're concerned about is, is hypocrisy, because Bloomberg saying one thing uh, and doing another. Um, and uh, so my sense that I was funny for him because as I tried to interview people, I realized that half the people there work for Bloomberg. So one after the other, <laughs> I work for Bloomberg. I work for Bloomberg. I wouldn't be surprised if a fourth of the audience works for Bloomberg. I had to find people who are not on the Bloomberg payroll uh, to talk to. And, and the mood there was, uh, was open-minded, but, but, but a little doubtful. Uh, Dinesh, is that a Bloomberg pin you have on? I'm noticing on your lapel. Oh, What's yeah. that all about? Is that <laughs> well, how you got in there? In, I, I don't think I can keep it on much longer, but because I came right here from the stu from the event. But as I walked in, they slapped it on me. Everyone has ah. to have one of these to get in. So this was the price of admission. I I don't think it's good for my career for me to keep it on too long. Yeah, one of my one of the more troubling interactions uh, tonight was about black unemployment numbers. I want to play that. Watch. I, I don't believe those numbers are reflective of what is actually happening with uh, the employment situation. How does uh, the president combat that disinformation? I mean, the economy's never been better for black America, and yet there are people in that audience saying, well, I don't believe those numbers. I think it's just sheer cognitive uh, dissonance because, see, these are people who have been bombarded with uh, anti-Trump propaganda. Uh, and so then when they see Trump at the State of the Union recite this litany of, of great things one after the other, uh, a strong economy, an economy that's disproportionately benefiting the, the working class and the and African Americans and other minorities, it's almost as if, how can that be? And so a certain kind of uh, dissonance, I think, creeps in, in which you, in a sense, are, are forced to deny the fact in order to support the hypothesis that you've been force-fed uh, over many, many years. Dinesh, the Quinnipiac poll that uh, just came out, black support in the Democratic primary. Biden is at 27 percent. He's fallen quite a bit, though. Bloomberg is at 22 percent. Sanders, 19. Buttigieg is at four. Poor little Amy's at zero. And I'm not sure what's going on there. But does, does that comport with what you saw tonight? I mean, this is after this tape was played and, and, and Trump's been slamming him, but he seems pretty popular among African Americans according to that poll. Well, this was a, uh, the crowd I saw was, uh, you know, there were all these local, um, Houston is a democratic city. Uh, but people think as it's Texas, it's got to be conservative. No, it's a democratic city and all the democratic local officials were there. They had rustled up their local audiences. There were like 25 speakers before Bloomberg got to the podium. So this was one of those kind of coming together moments. Uh, and, and, you know, Bloomberg's got the money. Maybe there's a feeling that, that cash ultimately will deliver the goods with Bloomberg. And I think ultimately Bloomberg may be just a beneficiary of Biden's uh, rapid uh, political hemorrhaging, which seems to be occurring on all fronts. All right, Dinesh, thanks so much for going out tonight.